Ian, an, another brilliant performance for you, like, as claiming the assist and, and a goal <laughs> from the spot, and, and that's five goal contributions in three games. You've really hit four attacking form, haven't you? Yeah, um, it's not obviously my, my job first and foremost, but it's something that I think I can contribute to. Um, and we're now sort of out of the, the early season period. Um, sort of feel like we're a lot of our players are now in autopilot, game, 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 and um, I think it's about time I, I back myself to be able to, to contribute to, to the football club in um, in terms of goals and, and just need to do a bit better keeping them out. Do you think that's something that's helped then the, the gelling of the side and, and now we are a bit further into the season, that's obviously helped you kind of bring in that different side of your game? Yeah, I think so. And I think the way that we play with our attacking forwards, you've always got a chance. Like I don't even have to do much to get an assist today, do you know what I mean? Even the one at Boreham Wood, I just roll to the side to Hadji and he, he goes and does the rest. And Stokesy today was a brilliant turn, brilliant finish. Um, and then obviously the penalty, I back myself with, with the quality that I've, I think I've got to um, send the keeper the wrong way and, um, and score. Was that something that was pre-planned? Are you the penalty taker? <coughs> because obviously being a centre-back, yeah. it, it must have raised a few eyebrows when you stepped um, up. We spoke about it Sutton in pre-season and I sort of put myself forward straight away. It, it took us obviously 12 or however many games we've played now to get one. So um, when it came up, um, I knew that I was going to take it. Um, it was just whether I could get the ball off the other two. And, um, and AJ sort of pulled rank on that and said that no, it's, um, it's for myself to take. And the clean sheets, obviously, they, they do need to start coming, yeah. coming as you said earlier. What, what do you think that you guys in the defence can do to kind of erect, to help that? <sighs> I think, I think a lot to be honest. I think the lads at the back, um, it's hard to it's hard to really put a, you know put a finger on exactly what it is because it's such a broad thing to keep a clean sheet for over ninety minutes. Um, I think set plays defensively and attacking is is an area we really really need to become stronger at. Um, there's times in the first half there where Geordie's having to make saves and we're 11 v 10 and, and we're sort of having to rely on our keeper. And when it goes 11 v 10, it should be like, like murder on the dance floor. Um, and, we, and then we let them back in the game, start the second half and, um, and then we get control of the game back. Um, I just didn't, and then I, I couldn't understand why I added 12 minutes. The time wasting come from <coughs> Dagan and time wasting at 2-2 two -two. and then he adds it on when they need a goal and it just doesn't make that makes sense, do you know what I mean? We're talking about the clean sheets there, it's been a bit picky, <coughs> obviously we're putting points on the board and, and we're, we're producing good performances, so it definitely is optimistic going forward, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's a great week for us now and I think that's one defeat in our last six, which is is good form and um, could have beat Southend here on Tuesday, um, along with some games earlier in the season, York and stuff like that comes to mind where we should have won, but I think now we're even when we're not at our best on Tuesday night, we don't get beat. Um, and today we just found a way, and I'm so happy for Kwame because he worked so hard and does so much for the team that I'm not sure a lot of people people would see. But when he's when he's on your team and you properly understand the game of football, you appreciate exactly what he does in both boxes and um, and, ha and how much of the pitch he actually occupies and how many players on the pitch he occupies.